Happy Friday. Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Come at you with a two-box random player or random pack break of 2019 Panini Contenders Draft Picks Football. We're watching the draft right now. Saints selection is in. Eric McCoy. Yeah, they got to raise that microphone up for that guy. <laughs> Eric McCoy, center from Texas A&M, being taken for the Saints. Big thanks to these folks for getting to. Maybe we'll find some of these first rounders and second rounders here in these two boxes. There are the packs right here. Now, we're going to pop open. So this is break six. We're going to pop open these boxes first. And then we'll mark the packs. And then we'll uh, randomize your names, randomize the pack numbers, and see what packs you end up with and see what hits are inside. Maybe this guy. Number one overall pick. So that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five and six. And right here and the second box right here. We've got some Seattle fans in the chat who are not happy about how Seattle's been picking. Ben's always like, yeah, I don't watch the draft because Seattle always disappoints me. Need O linemen and then we always end up drafting defense. Drew Kerr <laughs> wants a Metcalf. Since his NFL team can't get, yeah, why are, why are we not protecting Russell Wilson? And there's twelve right there. DK Metcalf, ladies and gentlemen, as, as of this video, DK Metcalf has not been selected by any team yet, and we're in the middle of the second round at this point. All right, now let's go back to the names right here. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. There are the pack numbers right there, and now let's randomize each list. Two and a four, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. We got Kevin Crouch down to Brian. And we'll do these uh, alphabetically too by your first names. Two and a four, six times for the pack numbers. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Mike Tower saying, based on the draft so far, which teams look to be the most expensive and pick your teams? Arizona Cardinals. <laughs> Um, any team that takes a quarterback, yes, even the Giants, might be a little bit more expensive than usual. Drew Locke went to the Broncos, so that might be a pricier team. All right, so Kevin, you have uh, pack one. Dwayne with five, Kevin with ten, Jeff, you got six and eleven, Barry with four, Jay with twelve, Drew, you got eight, Derek with seven, Barry, last spot mojo, nine, Kevin with three, and Brian with two. So let's order these by your first name. All right, so Barry, you got pack four and nine coming at you. Oh, you know what? I'm going to actually print the labels for these so I can team bag them right away. Give me a second here. Today's Friday, 426. <laughs> <coughs> All right, Barry Swisher, good luck. Pack four and nine. There's four, there's nine. 
Jeremy, what's going on? And we've got Easton Stick. It's the name of a uh, baseball bat company. Stick. All right, wait, what, what can I say on YouTube? Oh, and there's Marquise Brown. Nice. Marquise Brown, was, was he a first-round pick? He got picked last night, right? It's Antonio Brown's cousin. Marquise Brown went to the Baltimore Ravens. Nice, Barry. Got a, got a late first-rounder. Nice. So let's pack these up. Um, Brian, you're coming up next with pack two. Oh, right. I, I, I got to enunciate team a little bit better. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Barry. Once again, Brian, you are next with Pack 2. There it is right there. Pack 2 and break 6. And 2 is right over here. And there's Antoine Wesley. Antoine, I don't think he's been picked yet. Antoine Wesley for Brian S. You'll get the, the rest of these two, of course. All right, Derek Williams, you're up next with pack seven, which is right over here. Good luck, lucky seven. And we got Caden Smith, a Stanford Cardinal. Oh, it's Carl Eller, old Viking Carl Eller. Irv Smith Jr., tight end from Alabama, going to the Vikings. All right, Derek, thank you. All right, Drew, you're up next with pack eight. Just right over here. And here is Andy Isabella. 
wide receiver. All right, thanks, Drew. Irv Smith is happy. He's at home. Well, he had a Vikings hat down there already. So did he know? Or did he just have a stack of hats? All right, Dwayne, pack five. It's all the way over here. There you go, Drew. Oh, he plays 20 minutes away from you? All right, now we've got, we got Benny Snell Jr. Ooh, nice. Kind of a, I think what they call like a mojo refractor or something. That must be numbered. There it is right there. 12 out of 15. Nice. I don't think he's been drafted yet, but that's a cool looking card. It's only the second round though, middle of the second round. I've got plenty of draft to go. There you go, Dwayne. Thank you. Tennessee pick is now in. Trevor's here saying Cleveland Browns added another LSU Tiger. He may have to become a Browns fan. All right, Jay. Pack 12 for you. All the way over here. And it's Greg Dorsch. There you go. From Wake Forest, looks like. All right, Jay, that's your pack. We'll see where where, uh, where old Greg ends up in the draft. Still plenty of draft to go this weekend. And next up, we've got Jeff Ehrlich. You got a couple packs. Six and 11. Six and 11. Six is over here, and so is 11. Ooh, wide receiver. A.J. Brown. And there's Jerry Tillery. By Nyrix. That's pretty cool. Gives uh, Mariota some help. You're welcome, Jay. Where's, where's DK Metcalf going to go? <laughs> he keeps falling. All right, there's a pack 11 for you, Jeff. Mariota getting a little help. And then we've got Dax Raymond. Dax Raymond is your second autograph, Jeff Ehrlich. Really well 
So impressive combine for DK Metcalf, but there are many wide receivers going ahead of him. What's what's the story, folks? Maybe maybe he was just overhyped with the combine. We, maybe we just all got caught up in that. Oh, they're going to talk about it too. All right, so they're 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 saying uh, they're saying uh, the analysts on the NFL Network saying DK Metcalf, great physical specimen, but yeah, maybe a little injury prone and maybe a little. Uh, Kevin, you have the last three, one, ten, three, one, ten, and three. Maybe not the best route runner. We did, TJ. I was thinking about you. I was, I was like, oh man, we might see TJ getting some Raiders. Next year's sets. There's Keenan Brown. Hey, he's got a great story too. Lived, lived out a car with his uh, with his family and stuff for a little bit when he was a kid. Really made it. He seemed really happy. A big cul culmination of a of a lifetime of working hard. Yeah, Mark Mass, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I think people's money's scared a little bit right now, Mark. Mark Mathson also wondering, hey, why is that NT not moving? Rich Schmidt was thinking the same thing too. We're just just a couple spot randoms away. There's Jonathan Abram, which I think was a Raiders pick. Pretty sure it was a Raiders pick. Because the Raiders got. Cleland Farrell. Yeah, and then they got Jonathan Abram. That was the uh, the Amari Cooper first round pick. They got Jonathan Abram to shore up that secondary. That was their 27th overall pick. And Josh Jacobs is that Tulsa running back who went to uh, who went to Alabama. I did see the inside of his jacket when I think Deion Sanders was interviewing him, right? Yeah, seemed like a really good kid. All right, and your final one, Kevin. So you got a future Raider right there. Now let's see, late first round pick. Now let's see what else we got. We've got Kendall Joseph. Nice, 7 out of 15. Nice, cool little plaid sort of pattern here. All right, so another solid two boxes in the books, folks. Not sure if we have any more, but keep an eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com for more. Let's do that NT basketball too, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be watching Clippers Warriors in a little bit. A little bit later tonight, and we'll be talking basketball, hopefully breaking some hoops. I feel like once we do like the first case or two, we'll see the floodgates open and all those NT basketball breaks. Keep an eye out for more football as well, jazbeescasebreaks.com.